what's up, y'all? I said, what's up, y'all? Look at me when I'm talking to you, bro. Nah, I'm just messing with you, man. This is Knockout Boxing 86 TV, and we in here. So check this out, bro. Before I get going on today's video, y'all know what to do, man. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new here, and share the video, bro. If you come through and watch my video, be sure to hit that like button, bro. Put your seatbelt on when you hop in my car. And subscribe to the channel, as I said, and share the video. Also, don't forget to comment down below. I want to chop it up with y'all and talk boxing with you, but I can't do it unless you leave a comment. So be sure to comment down below. And if you want to have me hop on a panel, or you want to collaborate with me, or if there's a subscriber request video that you want me to shoot, you can reach out to me on my email, man. My email address is knockoutboxing86 at yahoo.com. Again, it's Knockout Boxing, the number eight, the number six, at yahoo.com. But let's get it popping, bro. Let's get into today's video and get it started, man. Um, check this out. So, look. Javante Tank Davis versus Mario Barrios is official, bro. We've talked about this fight a little bit before on previous video. Um, but we want to do it again since now it has been announced and it's official. And now the fight is just a couple months away, bro. It's just a couple months away, and so let's talk about what this means. Do I like the fight? Do I dislike the fight? What the fight means for each fighter and, and, and kind of how it can help them as they progress forward in their careers. First of all, Mario Barrios, bro. This helps him tremendously. It's an absolutely great fight for Mario Barrios, bro. It's an absolutely great fight for him. The reason that I say that, bro, is because anytime you can get a cash cow, you know what I'm saying? In the ring with you anytime you can um get a high profile fight if you're somebody like Mario Barrios who is undefeated, 26 and 0 with 17 knockouts. Anytime you can get somebody like that, bro, like a Javante Tank Davis to fight you, man, and you get to get on pay-per-view, that's a big fight for you. That's an absolutely big fight for you, bro. And so we have to love this fight for Mario Barrios because of what it can do for his career. He's gonna have a lot more people watching him than than usual you know what i'm saying he's gonna have a lot more people rooting for him to win than usual uh, because of the the javante davis detractors and we'll get into that when we start talking more about him and he has an opportunity to make his star bigger if he can somehow put on a good performance and pull out a victory bro so it's an absolutely great fight for um mario barrios javante tank davis and obviously he's the bigger name he's the star He's the reason that the fight is on pay-per-view. So we're probably going to talk about him a lot in this video. A lot more than Mario Barrios. No disrespect to Barrios, but Javante Tank Davis is the one that people know and the one that this is going to have the most implications for because he's the one who is in the limelight, bro. You know what I'm saying? So for him, bro, when I first heard about the rumors of this fight, I did a video. And I said I was okay with it, bro. I said I was okay with it. And now that it's official, now that I've thought about it, kind of what it means, kind of the challenge of this fight for Javante Tank Davis, bro, I got to say, I'm going from just being okay with this fight to liking this fight, bro. I like this fight for Javante Tank Davis. Now, I still hold, I still hold to the fact that at 130 he has a super belt, and so I'd like to see him unify that division. I'd like to see him fight the other champions in that division to try to unify and potentially become undisputed. Now... With that being said, though, when I think of who he could have fought at 135, Tiafimo Lopez, not realistic. Devin Haney, not realistic because of the Floyd Mayweather ties. Ryan Garcia, ducked out on his ass. You feel what I'm saying? Ducked all the way out on him. Then you got, um, who else you got? Lomachenko. That could have been an option. You know what I'm saying? But that didn't happen. So if he's not fighting Lomachenko... He's not fighting other champions at 130 because keep in mind, they all was tied up. You had Valdez fighting Burchelt already, and you had um, Heron fighting against Frampton already. So all that shit was tied up. So if he's fighting at 140, bro, this is a good fight for him. This is a good fight for him. And I got to believe that as a boxing fan, the same people that were, that were okay with Canelo Alvarez jumping up weight classes and fighting against Sergey Kovalev, I got to find out and I got to understand why you wouldn't like this for Javante Tank Davis, bro. I got to I I don't understand that shit. And so I'm I'm going to say I like the fight now because he's moving up two weight classes. He just fought at 130. He's fighting an undefeated fighter who's a regular champion 
who's at minimum top seven in that division, bro. And he's stepping up to 140 for the first time, and that's who he's fighting. Barrios is damn near six feet tall. Tank Davis is 5'5". Five five. He's really closer to like 5'4", bro. Let's keep it a buck. He's small in, in stature. But obviously, he's stocking, he pack a punch, and he's explosive as hell. We all know, we all know the accolades. We all know the skill set, bro. We ain't got to get into that because we ain't breaking down the fight. We ain't picking the fight yet. We're just talking about what this fight means and whether or not we like it or not. So when I look at him coming up two weight classes, bro, when I look at him fighting somebody that's a regular champion, that's top 7 to 10 in that weight class, to take on a challenge like that, I mean, I got to respect that shit. He's going to be at a disadvantage physically from jump. The Barrios is going to be bigger. He's going to be faster. There's a good chance he could, I mean, not faster. Hell no, he ain't going to be faster. He's going to be bigger. There's a chance that he could be physically stronger. And he's going to be by far the toughest challenge of Tank's career so far, in my opinion, just because of his dimensions, just because he is six feet tall, just because he is a 140-pounder. They were struggling to make 140 pounds. He's a big 140-pounder, bro. And he's undefeated. He has an extremely high confidence level. So for Tank Davis to take on a challenge like this, bro, we got to give him respect for that and props for that, especially if we're going to give somebody like Canelo Alvarez props and credit for taking on Sergey Kovalev, who was a lesser version of himself, who was washed up, who we all knew that Canelo Alvarez was going to walk through. At least there is some doubt in this fight. Not a lot of doubt. Not a lot of people think that Barrios could pull it off, but there is some doubt and some intrigue as to whether or not Tank Davis' power is going to carry How's he going to deal with the reach of Barrios? And let's keep in mind, Barrios ain't Kovalev, bro. He's 25 years old. He's young and undefeated. Tank Davis will be the first person to ever beat him should he be able to pull this off. So I, I, I'm going from being just okay with the fight to actually liking this fight for Tank Davis. Because do we know if he can make 130 again? Do we know if he's going to make 135 again, or is he at 140 because he knows the guys at 135 eventually have to come up to him, and is he positioning himself for these guys to have to come at him, for them to have to see him, to already be established in the weight class that they're all coming to, bro. So when I look at it from that perspective, when I look at the possible chess moves that could be being done, when I look at the level of opponent, a regular champion that's young in Barrios, that's undefeated in Barrios, that's just now hitting his prime, that's going to be bigger, that's going to be physically stronger, that's way, way taller, that's going to have all of the physical advantages at his disposal to be able to make life difficult for Javante Davis. When I look at it from that perspective, bro, I got to say, I like the challenge that Javante Davis is taking on. Because are we so sure? You look at everybody's resume, right? You look at um, Devin Haney's resume. You look at Ryan Garcia's resume. You look at um, Teofimo Lopez's resume even. Are we so sure that Mario Barrios doesn't beat all of the guys on their resume? Who would you pick in a fight between Mario Barrios and Richard Comey? Who would you pick in a fight between Mario Barrios and Nakatani? Who would you pick in a fight between Mario Barrios and Lomachenko? Off the top of your head, you say Lomachenko, but really think about it, bro. Really think about their dimensions. Really think about how big Barrios is and how Lomachenko struggled with the likes of Luke Campbell, how Tiafimo Lopez beat him. Barrios is bigger than both of those guys. He's six feet tall. He packs a punch, too, 26 and 0, 17 knockouts, bro. And that's at 140 pounders. How will Lomachenko react to it? Like, he is a good opponent, bro. I'd argue he's a top three opponent. When you put everybody that you consider top 135 and down, right? When you think of Teofimo Lopez, when you think of Ryan Garcia, when you think of Devin Haney, when you think of Lomachenko, when you think of um, when you think of Javante Tank Davis, if you look at all the, all of their resumes, right? And look at all of their resumes, and you stack it up, and you put Mario Barrios in there, he'd have to rank top three in their opponents, bro. He'd have to. You could maybe put Lomachenko in front of him. But other than that, who else would you put in front of him as an opponent for those top young four fighters when you think of Ryan Garcia, Devin Haney, Tiafimo Lopez, and Javante Tank Davis when you put him in there with those other fighters? 
Lomachenko you might favor over him, but that's a tough fight for Lomachenko. But other than Lomachenko, Mario Barrios is right on par with the absolute best of any of those guys' resume. And Tank Davis is moving up two weight classes to fight him. So now that the fight is official, now that I've had some time to, to digest it and really look at these fighters and see, see um, what Javante is really taking on, bro, I got to say, y'all, I like the fight. I like the fight for Davis, and I love the fight for Barrios because he has an opportunity in front of him to 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 make a huge name for himself and make a huge statement, bro. But anyway, y'all, let me know what y'all think of this fight, man. This is another fight that's coming up on the Showtime schedule that they just released. You know what I'm saying? We talked about Jamel and Jamal's fights earlier today. We're going to be breaking down some more fights as the days go on, but I definitely wanted to touch on these three fights because, in my opinion, these are the three biggest stars that have been announced so far. Still waiting to see what Earl Spence does. Still don't know what's next for Sean Porter. You know what I'm saying? Waiting on top rank to let us know what Terrence Crawford, but stuff is starting to come to fruition, and we're starting to get an idea of what the first half of this year in boxing is going to look like, bro. And I like this shit. I like this shit. A lot of great weekends ahead of us. A lot of fun Saturday nights, man. A lot of great prediction videos coming up. You know what I'm saying? But y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section, bro. Let me know what y'all think, man. Do you like this fight? Do you hate this fight? Are you okay with it? Do you love the fight? All of that shit, man. Don't tell me who you picking to win just yet because this ain't a prediction video. Just let me know whether or not you're going to like the fight. Since it's on pay-per-view, I guess the overall question is, are you going to buy this fight? Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and share the video. Put your seatbelt on when you hop in my car. Excuse the doorbell, and my dog is coming, so I got to cut this video off. Appreciate y'all watching. Everybody enjoy the rest of your day, and with that, we out you.